Hello to all of you who are joining us online. We apologize for the technical difficulties when I was growing up on RT. There were times when it used to come on a stunning British shock with a Polish character or something. Uh, so I hope you were able to uh, stay patient and we're delighted to have you here for the final day of our triduum, which is the World Day of the Sick. We're going to have a blessing of water in commemoration of the water, the Lord Water of Our Lady of Lord. And so if you'd like to pop out to the kitchen or wherever you are, you could get a glass of water or a little bowl of water so that you can really be part of our ceremony today. We're going to begin with uh, Be Not Afraid. For World Day of the Sick, this is a wonderful anthem. Be Not Afraid. I go before you always. So thank you, Marina. Mm -hmm. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and 
sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption. As proof that you are children, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mary set out and travelled to the hill country in haste, to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, 
The infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For the Lord has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Lord's mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. The Lord has shown might with his arms, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. The Lord has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. The Lord has helped Israel his servant, remembering his mercy, according to the promise of our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so the world day of the sick has come round to us. The 11th of February each year, since its designation by St. John Paul II, is a special day for the sick. And Pope Francis this year speaks in his message for World Day of the Sick about the key place of trust in any healing relationship. Trust. Well, we know that ourselves. If we go to a doctor or to a healthcare professional of any kind and we don't trust them, then something is missing. Trust is a fundamental part of healing. And very often, even in life, if we lose the capacity to trust, then we will be people who are unwell. So trust is crucial. And on the part of whether it be healthcare workers or clergy, chaplains, whoever, we must be worthy of trust. We must prove ourselves to be people who are trustworthy, who appreciate, who have a tremendous respect for the person before us, who entrusts themselves to us. And that's true as well, even within family situations and communities. And during the pandemic, it has been so important to have people that we trust. People, whether it be news that we trust, or the people around us that we trust, and also that we ourselves are people who are worthy of trust. Healing comes to us in this relationship. All healing is based on relationships. And that's what Pope Francis has been trying to promote in the church. He wrote an encyclical just a short time ago called Brothers and Sisters All, Fratelli Tutti, that we are all related one to the other and that we should be able to trust each other, not just at a local family level, but also at a world level. And that's where true healing of our planet will take place. And we recognize that we're brothers and sisters, not just to each other, but also to every living creature. So, in keeping with our theme of Lord and remembering the different visits we've been there, I'd invite you today to think about water, the water of Lord. How many gallons and gallons of Lord's water has been brought back from Lord to Ireland? Now, some people brought gin and pretended it was Lord's water, but we let that go. Um, but most people, they brought lots and lots of Lord's water. And when you think about it, it's just H2O, of which we have plenty in this country. But people brought the Lord's water because, of course, of that experience of healing and of peace at Lourdes. And different kinds of healing and peace took place 
in your middle and still take place in your middle. I remember myself going about 25 years ago. I went with my parents and with uh, one of my brothers who was suffering at the time from motor neuron disease and a deep healing did take place. Now, a short few years afterwards, all three of them had passed on. But nonetheless, it was a very healing experience. Now, I remember when chatting to my brother and he was saying that people asked him, well, do you wonder why me? And he used to say, well, why not me? And it started him about two years before his death on a very deep spiritual journey. A journey during which he was an inspiration to the family and also to many other people. So the healing and that relationship of trust and of love is something which is tremendously precious. We think too of the message of the which is basically where Mary says to Bernadette, who was a suffering person, you're called to conversion, that your life becomes something for others, that your life becomes something not just centered on yourself, but on other people. And very often it's not in the spectacular that we really encounter God. It's often in the order. There are many spectacular healings that take place in Lourdes, but the most common healing is quite important. Perhaps you've heard often of the term mindfulness is being promoted a lot nowadays, whether it be in um, psychiatry or in psychology, but also in a wider context too. And it's about the capacity to live in the present moment that capacity to live in the present moment. And when we go to Lord, we do that. We live in that moment of grace and healing. But we can do it too, even under level five restrictions. We can live in the moment. Not to be continually skipping forward. What is it going to be like? Will we be able to have holidays? When is it going to end? Or not living in the past. Oh, remember what it was like no, living in the present. How can I live the sacrament of the present moment in the best way possible? And we do that being gentle with ourselves and being gentle with others. We're not going to uh, go to have a blessing of water, but I'd like you to learn a piece of music first. Marina Cassidy is going to lead us off. The words are Water of life, cleanse and refresh us, raise us to life in Christ Jesus. Water of life. Water of life, 
banks and refreshments. Is it lead us to life or raise us to life? Raise us to life in Christ Jesus. And that is being in the moment. And so we're now going to bless the moment, bless the water. And you at home, you can have your water in front of you and take part in this so that when you dip your hand in the water at home, you too will join with us in the singing water of life, cleanse and refresh us. So now we we'll bless the water and invite Raphael to pour the water in. Loving Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, you have made water as one of your beautiful gifts for us. Through water you refresh us and sustain our life. You cleanse us and support all growing things. Your Son promised us living water and gave us his spirit as his first gift. In the waters of baptism we were plunged into the death of Jesus and raised to new life for you. Bless this water. Make it a source of life, refreshment, cleanliness, and joy to all. Heavenly Father, we ask this grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. And in remembrance of our baptism, let's just renew our baptismal vows, renewing our faith. So I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternity. Amen.
mentioned at the outside, outset, we've received petitions. And I just read you one that seems to sum up a lot of what's going on for people. I would be grateful if you could include my family, friends, and myself in the triduum. Our Lady, keep us all safe and well, particularly during the COVID-19 pandemic. Help us cope with life's difficulties and free us from worry, stress, anxiety, and feelings of isolation and loneliness. This is a difficult time in our lives. Help us stay positive. Help me in all my personal and work relationships. Help my relations to get good leaving certificate results and help them with their study. So that sums up a lot of the petitions we've had. Many, many prayers for people who are suffering with cancer, people who are suffering with chronic illnesses too. There's also a good number of petitions about home life, praying for peace in the family, praying for families who are finding the stress of financial difficulty very difficult to bear. I would like to pray for my son, that he would come to know the love of Jesus for him. Also, that he would realize that he needs to lose weight for his own benefit, and finally that he would meet a suitable partner. There are prayers for people who are trying for a family, and also for people who have been trying and who at the moment are praying for a safe and healthy pregnancy. Prayers for employment. And so, let's pause for a moment and include all of our prayers and intentions now before we say the Novena Prayer. O Virgin Mary, health of the sick, hear our prayer that comes from this suffering world. Dry the tears of those in pain. Stand beside those who are alone in their illness. Ask your Son to bring his healing touch to those who we know need healing. And by your motherly intercession, Help believers who work in healthcare to be true witnesses to Christ's love. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. We're going to listen to and also to pray the Hail Mary, the Ave Maria, which is in a setting by a Polish composer that Marina is going to sing for us.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of God's name for our good and good of all God's holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power and through the intercession of our Lady and Lord, a source of healing and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Holy Father. In a wonderful way you gave the Blessed Virgin Mary a special share in the mystery of suffering and pain. She now shines radiantly as a sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick who call upon the patronage. To all who look up to her in prayer, she is the model of perfect acceptance of your will and of wholehearted conformity with Christ, who, out of love for us, endured our weakness and bore our sufferings. Through Christ, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumph. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all. In a similar way, when Sabu was ended, he took the chance, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
giving thanks that you have held this world in me in your presence and you minister to me. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Dermot our Bishop, and all who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your hands. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may learn to be co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him have we came and lived in O God, our mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory and God is yours forever and Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace to all at home, and to know that we receive peace from here and from so many places. Lamb of God, you we take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting. Amen.
Thank you. 